Hello friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing! I am PG Lama here on YouTube and today we are back on my winter, currently seasonal winter core island of Evergreen. We are doing some building today and just hanging out on the island and winterfying it. I'm really excited to just get started because I've had so many ideas and I haven't been able to do a ton of them so I just want to get up to some small builds today. It is going to be more of a shorter video so I'm sorry about that but again going for more of this shorter and concise version of speed builds so I hope you guys enjoy it and again if you do like this style of um, speed build let me know. If you do prefer the longer versions also let me know because it's just a lot of talking and this way it's just very concise and easy and explainable. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think and let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to start off by laying out the uh, dirt path to be able to kind of see where I wanted my actual pathways to go. And then this is a custom design I found by this creator I'll show here. And I'm getting a vibe for where I want this like little hut to be, which is funny to me, but it kind of reminded me of what I did on Riverwood. I got some vibes from there that I wanted to bring back to here and putting in the stall in front, which is really nice. And I liked it, but it felt too much like Riverwood. So I decided to go ahead and make my own little holiday uh, drapery on top of what the stall would be. Um, I wanted to do three wide, but I, it wouldn't work for alternating. So I just went with the two. I know that's a little big, so I might have to go back and consider making a four uh, paneled version at some point, but really happy with how this turned out. I thought it looked really cute, but I wanted to have a plain version and then one with snow and one with lights. So that's kind of what we were working on and adjusting to extend down to the bottom because I didn't want the wood panels to show up underneath the panels on top. Panels, panels, panels. And this is the snow version of this design, just adding in like a big blob of snow on top. I didn't really end up using this one as much, but I hope maybe some of you guys be able to find a way to use it. I'm going to put it up um, with my design code at some point so you guys have been able to access for your holiday islands. And coming in with the adjustments for the lights, I was going to add some shadows in there to try to show them glowing, but I couldn't really figure it out. So they're not glowing, they're just there, but they kind of look like they're glowing with the highlighted details but it's just not the exact detail I wanted but there's only so much you can do in limited squares that we have so no biggie but they're very cute and I love the way it looks on the stall but I wanted to bring it down a little more because I was still seeing the wood but there's our final product I wanted to put a stall on the back side to add some depth to the shop here. I've learned a lot about depth in builds from Riverwood for sure. And of course we're finishing up our um, stone and iron fencing as well as adding in some really nice seating, continuing the white theme. And Mr. Dizzy and Doby are very excited about something. Let's see what that is about. I went orange picking with Doby. I couldn't reach him so he let me stand on his shoulders to pick some. They were so yummy. Okay. Oh my god. They're so cute. All right, so coming in with some greenery and then of course adding in the espresso machine and I want to add in some muffins as well to give the full shop vibe and then pushing out to the stall so I can add other items. I wanted to have more of the kind of behind the counter items to work with, so more coffee machines and a coffee grinder. I just like the depth that it adds to it because when you, you know, have it a lower angle, you can kind of see the shop in full. Of course, a nice little lunch spot as well as a mug to wrap this up for the details on the tables and of course you gotta have a menu board um, i loved adding in some more greenery i kind of went back and forth with this foam box it didn't end up making it into the build but i will find another place to put it i was just again trying out different things I ended up sticking with a holiday tree as well as the kind of like ornament wall to go behind it just to add some festivity and light to this little area I love these Casablanca red lilies. They look like poinsettias, so I really like how they fit in this uh, on this island. So that is our final little product of a little coffee shop. Moving on to the next day, I downloaded another um, pathway. 
because I didn't feel like making one right now. But this is just an extra little stone pathway to just add um, some outdoor areas for the yards. We are working on Marshall and Mary's yards today because they are the houses within the town. This is another creator that um, I got a lot of the patterns from for the cushions and the tablecloths I'm going to use in this build. So check them out if you'd like to use them as well. But they have so many options and it is so much fun. And so adding in a picnic table with the nice benches and these lovely log chairs with the beautiful patterned cushions just feeling very cozy and bringing the indoor vibes outside because there's not a whole lot to do otherwise keeping in with the red theme and get adding in a birdhouse and then these two are so cute just hanging out eating some lunch right where i'm working because it's fun for them too precious the lazies gotta stick together and adding in a scooter because I imagine Marshall would want to get around on a fancy scooter and adding in some food for his uh, picnic as well as some tea and then I was <laughs> so surprised by these two and just adoring their little interactions on the side while I try to build Mary's house like look at them they're just like oh we're gonna impede on what you're doing I wanted to see what you're actually doing <laughs> so funny and Bones stuck around the entire time and then Kat joined in too, which is very funny. But yep, trying to come in and add more festive pieces with a couple festive trees. And then I wanted to make an actual like space for a bigger tree for Mary's yard because I didn't have a lot of ideas to be quite frank. And then adding in a turkey day furnace. And I got this idea from Pinterest from this creator using a cube light as gifts that was really cute. Um, it's not, it doesn't have a bow on it, but I want to do more things with that later. So that is the inspo from uh, this creator that we just add a little gift on top of the little fireplace. And now we are transitioning over to my ice rink that I've already built off camera. And I wanted to make a place for you to pick up your rental skates and stuff. So I went ahead and adjusted the same paneling design I did on my coffee shop stall and just changed it to more bluey colors for the ice rink. And this creator has a really cute rental sign that i really liked so i use that as well and it's so cute adding in the shoes just made it all more real and i love this extra like waiting area to put on your shoes like a little seating area to be able to put on your skates and walk on it's just super super cute moving on to what i'd say is the holiday village i'm going to be redecorating everyone's house here to be a shop of some sort for the holidays so they gotta get through HHP. This was the original cul-de-sac for the neighborhood, but now it is more of a shopping district uh, with a really nice uh, centerpiece, and that's what we are working on today. Super cute, and I want it to light up and be very pretty and festive, so that's the thought, but I still wanna make sure our villagers can, of course, walk around, because that's always what I'm worried about. And adding in some more street lamps to light it up at night, and we'll expand more, of course, once we get the houses ready to go to be shops, and they'll have like their own little like patio area for people to walk to and I'll make signs too I think there's a lot coming but this is the initial vibe and it's walkable because flurry is able to walk through and that's exactly what I needed and yeah very simple very easy nothing too crazy so I hope this gives you some ideas for your island and with that that is it for today's video I know it's a short one for you guys but I still wanted to just be able to share what I've been working on on this island without it being too long and crazy but I hope it gave you some ideas for what you want to build for your winter islands or even just transitioning any of your islands to being a holiday theme or just a snowy theme. If you did enjoy the video and are enjoying the series here on the channel, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to be notified the next time I post. We're on the road to 20k as you all know and I really appreciate every single one of you here and everyone always watching and supporting in the comments. You guys are amazing so thank you so so much. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!